from tanning beds to Crocs or even the pet spa, you know, there's a lot of inventions out there that we've seen kind of pop up and you go, that thing's kind of weird. It's maybe even dangerous or it's just dumb. And you, who thought of this? Well, it wasn't Marshall Lee, no, but she me. certainly <laughs> did come up with a list of the worst inventions or at least found access to somebody who put together a list. Yeah, it's actually Time Magazine. They came up with the list. I'm going to twist around here and show you. This is uh, Time Magazine's list of the 50 worst inventions. Um, they didn't rate it in any particular order, but they've got uh, some pretty funny ones on there, like the the pet Snuggie, the dog Snuggie. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> like the, the, they've got like the fake ponytails and bumpets. Sorry, Snooky, but <laughs> those are not good inventions. The vibrating ab belts. That one I really agree with. The one that's on the beach. I saw that infomercial. I seriously think half of the workout things out there are stupid, but only the vibrating ab belt was on there. Then um, Farmville. I don't know. You're on Facebook. I know. I that. am. And you know what? I had to. I had to defriend a family member because I kept getting barnyard animals all over Seriously. my wall and quit telling me about the young lumber I don't need lumber I don't need I don't need a chicken I <laughs> I'm fine with the eggs in my fridge <laughs> I'm good I don't even know what Farmville is really but I, I don't like it lots of different things though I put the whole list on our website um, abc15.com um, click on the lifestyle tab and it's there my I think one of my what is that oh my gosh what is that baby cage baby cage let's see what it is Oh, and the electronic facial, by the way, is really weird. You look like um, a axe murderer. That's this not real. Like, whatever. That's not real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one's from the 30s, so uh, we haven't seen that one in a while. But it seriously is a cage for You know a what? Baby. That's the 1930s version of a crib with yeah. those little tents when your kid starts to crawl out. It's like <laughs> that's what we do now. In the 30s, they just did the full kennel it's for the kid. It's a dog kennel. Okay, <laughs> but the one that I thought was funny is the Segway because I think that we like the Segway. And without the Segway, we wouldn't have something like this. <laughs> I love this song. It's on my favorites on my Facebook page. <laughs> yeah. So I think that was an awesome invention. Or else you wouldn't have a chimp on a Segway. I honestly don't think we can top that. So just to make sure that you have access to the entire list, head to abc15.com and click on the Lifestyle tab. Andy, riding on a Segway. <laughs> Well, if you've ever wanted to own your own business, but you just can't seem to overcome the many obstacles that you place in front of yourself, maybe our next guest, she can help you finally get there. She's Christy Staub. She's a success coach, a speaker, and 